Hey everyone, JJ here. So this has been the craziest day. We've been so busy. So um, I've been busy with work, but then the big thing is we were trying to get our passports done today for a 6.30 appointment, but we needed both of our birth certificates. And Jairus just came the other day, and then mine, I have one in storage, but it's a really bad, um, like, it's, it's been so faded. So we were like hoping to get, <laughs> hoping to get, um, we were well, always friendly. To, we, we love it when both Jen and Joy loves it when they do. Yeah, I didn't even realize what was going yeah, on. Was real, I think it's the funniest thing and ever. I didn't even realize. I was like, "What's going on?" It's so funny. But um, so we were thinking we were gonna have to go to storage on top of like, cause it's been a busy day. We've been going day, all day long, and then my birth certificate came today. So I was just like through the moon because it's just like the timing of everything. Where, and Jedi Rich said, should I pay $20 for it to come early? And at the time when we ordered our birth certificates, we had no idea we were going to Panama. That's what's going to want under the wall. Careful. Uh, we had no idea we were going to Panama. He just said, you should get your passport, because we're probably going to move at some point, you know. And then we decided to go to Panama, and now it's just been going so much faster. Um, but we, uh, I was like, oh, we don't need to rush it because we don't need it fast. And now we're like, today we were like, oh, it would have been a nightmare. Because I don't know if we could have even done it in time because I had to work. I had to work. And my client, um, he ended up running late. And then um, the Ubers are sometimes like a 30 minute wait. Speaking of, I got to go. Oh, let's go over here. I'm going to call one. But let's go stand in the shade. Okay, let's go over here. Yeah. They say to be there 10 minutes early too, so. I just didn't want to be late, you guys. You never know with these Ubers. Um, yeah, it's not even fully connected to me. Like, I've had to be, see, 16 minutes away. See, it's updated as we go. 18 minutes away. 18 minutes away, there we go. Hey, I'm glad we came out here then. Because, um, so I'm um, pretty, Oh sorry. oh, sorry, sorry. So I'm pretty tired today because it was a jam-packed day, and I've been also getting rid of so much stuff. So I've been just cleaning like crazy because we're trying to lighten the load. Since we have to leave, it's easier if you get rid of stuff ahead of time so you don't have to at the last minute figure out what you need. And also, it's just kind of like, it's a very therapeutic. Because normally if you're not moving, you probably would hold on to things. You're like, oh, I don't want to get rid of this or that. But when you're moving, you're like, all right, forget it. I'm just going to let these things go because I can't take them with me. And we could, we're going to put some stuff in storage, but, you know, we don't want to have to deal with too much stuff. No. Because we don't even know if we're going to have, like, a guy with a truck help us or if we're just yeah. going to have to Uber or what. Last time when we moved, you found some guy who, who uh... Yeah, last time I met, there was some local guy. He had posted in the laundromat at the... We were living at a weekly. He called himself Van the Moving Man. And um, he was going to do it for 40 bucks. He'll just move you with his truck. But I needed more help than I guess he anticipated because Jedi Rich was in the hospital during that time. So it was really hot. It was this time of year, and we moved here. And so I gave him like 120 um, because he was bitching a bit about because we had to take stuff to the third floor. <laughs> oh, so man. I felt yeah, bad. That's, a, that's, a, that's and, pretty hard. Okay. Yeah, and it's hot. But you know what's funny is I actually carried more than him. Like I carried both of those heavy chairs. That's what we had. That's that was the heaviest thing. Because I felt bad because he was he was kind of more thinking he I guess he'd just be more uh, the car. I was thinking he was a moving company, <laughs> like yeah. where he wanted to help move. But he kind of I think wanted to just drive and you move your own shit kind of attitude. I don't know. It was kind of funny. He was not stoked about bringing this shit up to the third floor. No. So what's the temperature today in Vegas right now? What does my watch say? What does it say? It says 105. Yeah, 105, man. 105 degrees. It's a, it's, it's a, yeah, hot one. So 12 minutes for the super. So. I told Jerry Rich we have to leave about an hour early just in case of the Ubers because 
it's a good 15 to 15 to 20 minutes to get there and then ubers can take you know anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes to get to us so you have to give yourself and then they want us there 10 minutes early so I was like, man, I don't want to be late because we really don't want to miss this. We were almost going to cancel because I was like, I wasn't going to have enough energy to get to storage. Because the thing with storage is the issue is it's really on the way other side of town. And um, we'd have the same issue with the Ubers waiting on both ends. And so we'd maybe miss our appointment just in the sense that Uber's not getting us there in time. Just trying to wait to the storage unit to get, because we were going to go there to get my birth certificate to then go to the post office um, for the passport, but it was amazing that mine came today. I was so excited. Just the best. Just the best. And I'm just babbling because I'm really tired. Well, you know, we've, we haven't done a blog in a long time, and there's a lot of things you had to talk about. Um, how do you feel about things these days? Because you were very angry on your blogs, I think, before the Panama move. Like, right? Well, yeah, I was You're really very, depressed. Yeah, it was very interesting. Here's what, okay. what your emotions show on camera. If you go back and watch Did I Joy's blog starting around March 17th, March 24th or so, she immediately is crying. And then she spends 60 days doing like two, three hour blogs every day for like two months. And most of them are pretty freaking angry. I know. Then she was just angry. And then she went in this mode where she just like gave up, like just depressed. I was depressed for a long time until we decided to go to And then all of a sudden, and now it's like she said, "Hey man, lightning bolt." What we, yeah, like, why are we living here? We, I mean, there's no point. Yeah, I realized that that's where my depression was stemming because this place is getting bleaker and bleaker. And I kept trying to stay positive, in the sense of I know people are saying you're negative because you're saying, but I was trying to stay positive in the sense of like, okay, maybe it won't be so bad. Maybe it'll, you know, like in the sense of. Um, like in my own mind, you know, what I was telling everyone else is it, 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 we're done. But in my own mind, I was still trying to tell, but I, I didn't believe my own, you know what I mean? Mm. I was like, no, nah. you know right. what I mean? Like I kept, I kept trying to lie to myself, like, oh, maybe it won't be as that bad. But I just knew it was, and that's why in the beginning, I just kept saying you guys were doomed. Once you closed for, even the 30 days was too long. And then it turned into 78 days for the casinos closed. Oh, I guess you and it made me sad because I went there pretty much every day to this casino, so it well, it really it, it, it affected my just, yeah affected my daily just life. Just fun. It's just not yeah. even that. It's just like like see when you say it like that, people think that oh, oh well, of course, because you work down there. But no, what no, is, like the energy of going down is that there's there. There's an energy of the people that come here to have fun, mm -hmm. and that's what made Vegas special was the people. Yeah. Not the buildings. Not the football teams. Not any of that stuff. What makes Vegas special is the people. So, without the people, I think is what she's saying is like, it's just a, a bunch of really nice buildings. Right. And um, empty buildings. Yeah. It, 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 I used to go down there just to. Eat. The energy was awesome. I'd always get uh, livened up, and then for like 78 days we didn't have that at all, and so it was really a shock to Especially, me. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Just because I was so used to that, and I didn't realize so. I at first was felt really sad, and then yeah, like got angry, and then I just got depressed until we decided we just got to go because this is not. Yeah, I do want to make that clear because because like a lot of people were kind of like giving you shit because you know they feel like you might have been like wanting the casinos open in lieu of public safety for oh. your own personal benefit for your own money. You know what I mean? When that wasn't the case. No, no. I was just saying that for one thing, this is a. People are recovering from this virus. I always laugh when people are like, oh yeah, my friend got it and it's just real hairy. And I'm like, well, yeah, but I asked the client. He said, there's two of his friends. I said, well, are they alive still? Are they okay? Yeah, you know, it's really rough. I'm like, okay. Oh, man. I mean, like we're saying the whole world for some, like just a really bad Not flu virus. Deadly. The people are saying, oh, it's so awful. You don't want it. It's deadly. When they're, when they're the ones living to tell you that it's deadly, it's so weird. Let me ask you a question. If you've ever had the flu, you've had the flu. Yeah, you've had the flu. Times, yeah. And when you get over the flu, and someone says, "Hey, you get back to work, how was it?" What do you usually say? Awful. And, oh man, that was hairy, man. I thought I was gonna die. Is what they say. Yeah. And I don't hear any difference here. And that's that's just me being scientific, okay? 
I ain't political. I don't care who. I do. I'd be happier if the whole place that they just tore up the roads and dismantled the police and had no government. Okay. I think we'd be just fine. Right. I think we'd all get along. Right. But that's me. The only, but the problem is, there's a bunch of cops that if they fired them, they would go rough everybody, and we'd have to get cops for those cops that are out of work. Right. That are all. <laughs> they're all mad. They're ridiculous. It's really falling apart. Anyways, it's all falling. Yeah, apart. we decided to get off the sinking ship, though. Time to. Um... Yeah. Well, my my one of our ancestors, my ancestor Lightteller, was uh, well, he was, well. He's a, I mean, some say he's the reason that the whole Titanic sank. <laughs> Starting getting geared up. Oh, here comes police. Okay. Okay, get the gear. Yeah, get the gear. They said the doctors didn't know what it was. Yeah. Yeah. And my di my okay. didn't. They said, oh, you have sepsis in your bloodstream. Oh, you you have food poisoning. Oh wait, no, it's pneumonia. They were just going, they didn't know what the hell. Where was this? I was sick it, as hell. Was that here? Yeah, it was Centennial Hills Hospital. I was in the hospital for five days. Yeah. I had diarrhea nonstop for <laughs> five days. Man. Okay, <laughs> thanks for the ride, bro. All right, take it easy. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, probably because it just reset. It's all right. It went away and it had the other, other things. So all right, so where are we? What's going on? So we are right now at the post office and uh, we're coming here to get our passports. So we're here to get our passports. So this is exciting because we got the birth certificates in time to come here. I was going to cancel the appointment because we weren't going to be able to have the energy to go to storage. And mine came in the mail today. Just, yes, just Jedi luck like that. So thank you, thank you. The force was with us, and it is really hot. So I want to get inside here. Oof. Oh, it is hot. Yeah, this is. You have to um, make an appointment online. You have to schedule an appointment. Make sure you schedule an appointment ahead of time. And then you have to bring it. Let's go over here. Oh, that's very nice. Let's go over here. We'll go over here. So, we're getting our passports. You have to bring um, your birth certificate. <laughs> your birth certificate. And you have to bring a two forms of ID, which hopefully we have that for Jedi Rich because he has two IDs, but they're the same ID with just different um, addresses. So hopefully that's acceptable for two forms of ID because that's all we have. And then um, I have my weed card, so that'll be a second form of ID but you guys I am really hoping that works because otherwise we don't really have any other ID because it was all stolen in our car when our Jaguar was stolen so um, if this doesn't work we'll have to get social security cards or something I don't know that'll be another mission so keep our fingers crossed to the Jedi Force we let this work and uh, you also need to get passport photos you have to go to an agency that does them. We went to Walgreens and then you need to fill out your forms. Um, I filled it out online. It's like a DD11 or something like that. And um, that's it, I think. Hopefully, that's what we brought. Oh, you need money too. And I think you have to get a money order, but they, you can get that here at the post office because they have to mail it in. So they can't accept cash, but I think since you're at the post office, they can accept cash, and then they you get the money order here. So let's see, 1805. Okay, we're supposed to, so we're we got about we got about 15 minutes. I don't know where you go for that. Yeah, let's go check in. I think this is it. Oh, here's this stuff up here. Let's see. So I want to see if we can 
expedite. I don't know if they were saying with the COVID, if you can expedite right now. Let's see. Uh, uh, oh, yes, that's us. <laughs> that's us. Okay, we're going to check in with you guys later. It's okay. Uber. Hey everyone, we just finished the passport application here at the post office and they said that they're behind it normally take like uh, three to four weeks. Now it's gonna take like 12 weeks or something they said. Uh, so that'd be like three months instead of like a month or two. So a little longer than we had hoped, but maybe it'll come quicker. <laughs> Um, yeah, they, where they process it was closed for X amount of time. I don't know how many months it's been now. Um, and so they're just so behind that when they come in, there's just like they have so much back. You can't expedite right now. So you just have to just wait. So when you order a, a passport, you, you order it and then what you paid, we just paid $300. It was like two ninety three, I think, total for the two of us because it's one ten a piece and then you pay like extra fees to the post office and stuff, like I think $30 here and there. And then um, what happens is they take all your documents, they take your, your original uh, birth certificate and all that stuff. And then once you're approved, they will send you your passport first and your birth certificate second. They don't want them to go at the same time because then someone would have both of your documents. Um, and those are, you know, very important documents. So they send them separate and they send you your passport first so that, you know, you get that. So it's like you could actually leave and you could just get your um, birth certificate later. You know what I mean? Like if you had to go on a trip, get the passport, get your birth certificate later. But hopefully we get both before we leave. But otherwise we'll just order another one. It's, it's a good thing I copied. <laughs> Yeah, you have to take a photocopy of your, and I wasn't going to photocopy it. She ever said, let's just photocopy it for our own records, and I was like, yeah, let's do that. But at first I was like, oh, um, everyone says to make a photocopy, and I was like, I didn't know why, because um, I thought they were just giving it for themselves, but I guess you needed that for the, for the actual application, so I almost didn't have that. Oh, and we had, I guess your ID worked or whatever, I don't know, like he took, I guess he just saw all the IDs and he was like, I had like five of them. I think I had like five IDs and I guess that worked. Yeah, but then uh, like yours were all the same, but I guess he accepted that. I was thinking that would, they'll take, they will take uh, school IDs, but they didn't want to take the marijuana one. And that's a pretty valid ID. I mean, it's like. That's pretty weird, you know, state ID that is not acceptable. That's pretty funny. I didn't even think about that.
there, but it doesn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at it. It's yeah, it's <laughs> right here's fine? Yeah, right here. Okay, all right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. You guys take care and be safe out there. Okay. okay. JediRich.com, follow our adventures. Oh okay, yeah, I'm, I'm checking out. Check it out. Okay. All right. All right, we made yeah, it. I that's what I was thinking. How'd it go? Oh my gosh. I feel, yeah. Oh, do I want to? No, no, no. no. I feel so proud right now because without having a car, doing what we just did is a big feat because we had to get horses and kids, which I thought we were going to have to go you know, to storage. Thought we were gonna have to go search. That was gonna be a nightmare. Luckily, it came in time. It was actually easier for us to order it online and try and get it than it would have been to get the one in stores and the other one we had to order. And then uh, we didn't have IDs because everything was stolen in the car. All of our like identification, our passports, our old IDs. But luckily, I had just copies of the same IDs we have, like because like we moved. And I had to get an updated address for my weed card, so I updated her our IDs. So luckily, like we have like three of them because we changed our address a couple times, and they kept making me update my ID because they'll only deliver your um, weed card to the address on your license. So I kept having to update my license, which is good because otherwise we wouldn't have had IDs. We only had one. So if the weed card helped us out, then but they wouldn't accept the weed card as a form of ID. How come? Because it's not federally legal, even though it's a state ID. Even though they'll accept a high school ID or a school ID, but since that one, they wouldn't accept it. That's funny. Even though it's like a total official ID, it's just like your license. That one they didn't accept. Well, not this year. It doesn't even look like a license. This year it looks like a school ID. <laughs> that wasn't the one I was showing. I was trying to use the other one, actually. I don't even think my other one has expired yet. I think it expires yeah. tomorrow. Hey, thanks right. for watching. Yeah, thanks, guys. Tell it. Oh, thanks, guys, for watching. Please subscribe uh, to this channel here and check us out on JediRidge.com. Subscribe to our JediRidge Creative Producer on YouTube and also we have Jedi in Panama. So our new channels on YouTube and Twitter. Jedi in Panama. Search that, you'll find us. Thanks, guys. It's been a great journey. Yeah, start of the journey. Yeah. This is the well, start. No, but it's like, this was a journey just to get our passports. Wouldn't you say that was? Yeah, absolutely. It's been a three day journey to do our passports. Because we had to do the photos, we did the first day, and all the places were not working. We just, we just had a journey. So it's a, it's a journey. Thanks for watching. Thanks. I feel so proud of it. That was a really big accomplishment. Getting that done. Yeah. Especially because without any like IDs that we had, you know what I mean? I thought it was really, really good. I'm so worried. Not actually really worried if they were going to be. Mean. Yeah. But I was like, if it doesn't, then be a trip. Yeah. Because we don't get like social security cards. Just the whole thing. It's just insane. I'm looking at my voice. So tired. If if you had told me to take a copy of the birth certificates, you you know they're really rude there, they won't do it for you. So like, if you come without they send the copy, you out. they send you out. So, good thing I had everything. I was so nervous. You're right. I thought I was going to forget something. And Jennifer said, take a copy of the birth certificates. And I was like, eh. And I'm like, I'll just take one just to have one. And then they needed it. I was like, oh, God. The whole thing. And the it whole said right Uber, there, bring a copy. Two Ubers. Yeah. It said right there, bring both. It said both. And he showed you. And you couldn't I believe that we had it. See it. I bet most people don't do that. Oh, man. I know. Because he's used to just like, right there, he'll say, oh, he'll leave if you don't. That's why you didn't want to, yeah. I was like, oh, man. Great job, I Jedi Joy. So, I felt so bad because I didn't learn to organize, but I was expecting to sit down and have him say, okay, this, and I had it that way if he would have done it. But instead, he's like, give me all the stuff right now. And I was like, oh, geez, I haven't organized it with like your stuff, with your thing, and the, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because I didn't even know if I had the right stuff, so I wanted to, I thought you were going to, that was. 
Okay, I want to get out of here. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. That was it.